Okay, so previously we had taken a look at uh, C++ code run here in Google Colab to estimate implied volatility. And I've left a few links uh, for a playlist that uh, would be useful just to understand a little bit the context. Um, and we had previously shown when we execute C++ in uh, Google Colab, which is a Python notebook, it actually works uh, reasonably well, it's fast. Um, we can actually see where our files go to. The main CPP file is here, A out, um, so on. Now, um, in addition, we could check that. We, I have some Python code here, and we can uh, operate both Python and C++ uh, in the same notebook. And just to demonstrate that, I have some Python code here from uh, Amber Lou uh, GitHub. And basically, it's the same Black Scholes model uh, again. Uh, we do include here a reference to uh, dividend yield, uh, but otherwise, uh, the normal Black Scholes model. Um, we do use uh, a bisection function. Um, and if we just execute the snippet of code here, should be fine, runs. And then we come down. Now, the first one, the, the function we use is implied volatility. Uh, you can see it's uh, defined here. And um, if we run it with the put option, where the market value option price or market value is 557, otherwise uh, stock price 100, exercise 100, risk free rate 5%, uh, maturity one year, and zero dividend yield. When we execute that, we get 19.99, uh, so basically 20%. Now, that's what we would expect. But just to show that it uh, is consistent with the results we had obtained here for the call option, where we had an output of 20% with these parameter values, but we had, a, if you recall, a call option, but the parameter values are the same. Uh, the market value of the option 104506. So let's take uh, the same Python function again. So we want to print out, so we'll copy, selection, control V, and we'll change the option specification here to a call. So it's a European call option. And we're going to take the market value of the option is 104506. And otherwise, S100, K100, exercise 100, risk free rate 5%, T is equal to one year, dividend equal to zero. And if our results are consistent with what we had before, we would get 20%. Okay, and we basically get 20% uh, here. So the Python code, this implied volatility uh, bisection function is now set up in Python. It executes and we're getting the same results as we had obtained before using uh, the C++ code. Okay.